name's Amanda Fitz and I'm an oral rehabilitation audiologist here at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Oral rehabilitation is a type of therapy that is for children with hearing loss to assist them in the development of their auditory or listening skills. It's sometimes referred to as auditory training or listening therapy. Um, children are typically referred for an oral rehabilitation evaluation once they've been identified with a hearing loss. Their managing audiologist would inform the family of the hearing loss, go ahead and fit them with some type of amplification, whether it be hearing aids or a cochlear implant or some type of assistive listening device, and then the child would be referred for an evaluation of their auditory skills. Um, oral rehabilitation therapy typically is a weekly process and lasts 50 minutes in length. Um, however, that is dependent on the child's attention level and the availability of the family. Um, we do reassess on a consistent basis to determine whether or not continued therapy is necessary or whether the child is ready for discharge. Um, during the hour that we spend with the child, um, all of the activities are play-based, meaning we're playing games, that sort of thing that are based on the child's developmental age. And then the type of goal that we set kind of encourages what type of game we play as well. That goals are based on the hierarchy of auditory development, which goes through four stages, which are detection, discrimination, identification, and comprehension. The way we involve the parent is that we want them to be an active part of the therapy process. So they are actually in the therapy room with us, sitting side by side and participating in the activity with some instruction and encouragement from the therapist. Um, if that is not possible because either they have a sibling in tow or because the child just doesn't participate very well when mom and dad is present, we do have observation facilities available at all of our locations. Um, the importance of oral rehab is much like people understand that speech and language can be delayed and that with intervention you're going to see improved speech and language skills from your child. Um, audition has to happen prior to speech and language development. It's kind of an input-output process and if the child is not able to hear well, they're not going to be able to speak well. And so our job is to make sure that all the information is going into the system well so that they can then proceed with their speech and language development. The reason that hearing aids are not the sole answer is that hearing aids are referred to as aids. They aid a hearing loss, whereas glasses are referred to as corrective lenses because they actually correct your vision. So when you put a hearing aid on, the signal is amplified and it makes it more audible to the listener, but it is still being sent through what is a damaged organ. So what the brain receives may not be an accurate signal, and that's where our rehabilitation comes in. It is our job to teach the child how to make the most out of the listening ability that they have. Um, one of the most important things to know is that um, the best thing a parent can do is ensure that their child is wearing their hearing aids consistently, and consistently means a minimum of 80% of their waking hours. And the reason for that is in order for auditory development to, to occur, a child needs consistency in what they hear. Um, if they only hear the knock at the door part of the time, they never really make the association that somebody is standing on the opposite side of the door, knocks on the door, and that's why mom and dad open it. So one of the best things you can do is make sure that your child is wearing their hearing aids or cochlear implant on a consistent basis. It is important that you bring your amplification to therapy every single time and that you attend therapy on a consistent basis so that your child can receive the maximum benefit. One thing that's really important to know is your child is going to perceive our rehabilitation therapy is a whole lot of fun. Um, we play nothing but games and ironically brothers and sisters typically are a little jealous of the individual time the child receives, of the fun they get to play. They don't even know that they're working and it's some great one-on-one -on -one time with you and your child.